headset. Guys, this it's just not working. It just shut off again. I've been having issues with my he headset and I just bought this headset. Let me make sure this works. Bro, my PC's dying. <gasps> Everybody hold your breath. Why can't I hear anything? Hold on, let me return this on. I just bought this headset. Not that long ago. Okay, it's working. But like it's randomly like shutting off. Hey Adisic. Thanks for the seven months, Adisic. Welcome back. It's nice to see you today. Okay, I'm kind of flustered right now. Um I'm trying to do so much right now. I'm trying to do so much. I'm, I'm just, I got so much fucking going on. Give me one second. I'm just trying to like, I'm doing, I'm trying to order my groceries right now. Because if I don't remember to do it in the moment, I'm just not going to do it at all. And it's going to be bad. Okay. Tomorrow, I'm picking up groceries at 8 a.m. Yep. Okay. All right. Do I have everything I need? Order some chocolate milk. I already have chocolate milk, actually. So I think I'm good on chocolate milk. Oh, speaking of milk. I actually do need to order milk. So I almost forgot. But I, I actually already have chocolate milk. So I don't need chocolate milk this week. I have enough. But what I need is regular milk. There we go. I almost forgot, honestly. I wouldn't have remembered without you, Adesik. All right, so I'm getting that. I'm getting that. I suppose I can turn my cam on for you guys. Hey, I just was watching the Olympics, so I'm looking a little rough. I was sludging on the couch. Um, yeah, I just watched the women's gymnastics all around finals. That was honestly so nerve wracking to watch because it was getting so close. Um, especially honestly. I, I, I kind of knew Simone would get the gold. I feel like we all knew Simone would get gold. Rebecca would get silver. Like, it was very obvious. But, like, the race for bronze was actually what had me biting my fucking nails the most. Because there was, like, four, three gymnasts in the race for bronze within tenths of each other. It was intense. And, of course, the all-around defending champion, Suni Lee, was in that race for bronze. Um, she won gold at the last Olympics, but... She got bronze this time, which for her is really great because the one, you know, the ones that got gold and silver were kind of expected to get that. For, so for Suni to come back and get a bronze was amazing. And Suni's from Minnesota and I from Minnesota. So I was really pulling for her. I actually cried at the end of her floor routine. It was so intense. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed watching it. It was honestly... I love Simone and all. Simone's the greatest of all time. It's not even a fucking question whether you like her or not. It is just facts. Um, but I think sometimes we just always know she's going to win. But today, Rebecca and Draji gave her a run for her money. It was getting close between gold and silver. So, like, that's the first time, like, someone's really come close to beating her in that, like, so long. So, it was really fun to watch because they were kind of going back and forth. But we knew Simone would win in the end. But it was so fun to watch. I, yeah, I, I it was incredible. The Olympics are kind of controlling my life right now, guys. Tomorrow, track and field starts. And track and field is my second favorite thing to watch in the Olympics. And it starts at 3 a.m. my time. So I'm going to have to set my alarm and wake up at 3 a.m. to watch the qualifying rounds for track and field. It's controlling my schedule. Like, I'm, I'm my schedule is based around the Olympics for this next week of the Olympics. I, I can't stop watching. <laughs> um, um, I think I grew up, you know, I was an athlete. I competed in a lot of sports. So, like, for me, just watching the best of the best is just so fun because I used to be so competitive. So, um, it's got me thinking. I'm like, what's the easiest sport to learn in four years? Because, you know, I'm pretty athletic. And if I get myself back in shape, I'm like, yo, could I, like, make an Olympic team for LA 2028? 
<laughs> which I think we all know is not possible. But like, I'm sitting here thinking, what would be the easiest sport to learn? And the answer is, there is no easy sport. Audrey out here fiending like a crackhead for this stuff. I am. I love the Olympic Games. I've loved watching since I was young. I just wish, I feel like if I would have been someone that would have put in more effort, I would have never made it to the Olympics, but maybe I could have tried. <laughs> I just, yeah. I just, I feel like I kind of had my, I come from a very athletic family, like, you know, a, a bunch of state champions, stuff like that. I feel like I just didn't work hard enough. <laughs> I don't know what sport I would have tried for. I feel like I was like, above average in a lot of sports but like not good enough you know but I, I was athletic regardless I was kind of like let's fucking goof around everybody you know what I'm saying I was kind of goofing around a lot I wasn't as disciplined and determined as I should have been you know but the Olympics I get to live vicariously through these athletes and it's just fun so, but my favorites to watch are um, women's gymnastics, especially, and track and field, especially women's track and field. I'm really all about the girls. I've been watching women's rugby. Our team got bronze, which was so fun to watch. Um, women's soccer, women's swimming. I just like the women because, honestly, I think they're more fun to watch. That's a hot take. Um, but, yeah, it's been controlling my life. Um Basically, I'm, tomorrow is a big track and field day. We get we get a break from gymnastics tomorrow. Gymnastics doesn't come back until, I think, August 3rd. So we get a break from gymnastics tomorrow. Um, um, we get a break from gymnastics tomorrow, but tomorrow is when track and field starts. And it's going to get real dicey when I have gymnastics on the same days as track and field. I don't think you'll see me those days because I'll have, like, two screens playing both at the same time <laughs> guys I'm so into it so yeah but uh, ha have any of you been watching the Olympics like am I, am I just weird um okay I need to okay so I'm ordering English muffins I'm gonna make eggs benedict uh so I'm ordering English muffins I already have the sauce for it I'm ordering maple syrup because I'm out of maple syrup I'm ordering brownie mix because I want to, I'm fucking craving brownies. I'm ordering some sodas. I'm ordering some juice boxes, milk, eggs, yogurt, onion rings, because that sounded fucking good. I'm eating all organic now, non GMO, because of my gut issues, by the way. So all of these are very healthy options. I'm only, I'm ordering from healthy grocery store now. Audrey's, go, Audrey is healthy and Audrey's gonna start being athletic again I think I'm gonna start hitting the gym again I'm gonna really the Olympics has inspired me but I think before my health issues I, w I was still like doing well health wise but these health issues have really s made me realize like I need to take care of my fucking health I'm ordering some sausage for breakfast some corn dogs a new razor my razor's really bad do I need anything else I feel oh dish soap Oh, I got dish soap in there. I uh, What else am I running low on? I have, I just bought toilet paper. Yeah, I'm on, I think I'm going to be in my, my gym girl arc. And I kind of, so I used to be very athletic, very in shape, guys. Like, I, I'm not even lying. I use, and when I say very, like, I mean more than the average person. I, I've never been, like, a beast in the gym. But, like, I've been, you know, I would say in the past I've been more athletic than the average person. My goal is to start running mile runs again, but I'm going to set the bar low and I want to at least have an eight minute mile again. <laughs> I, I think I've ran faster, but time to get ultra competitive with beast moding versus Andre. I'm wondering, should I do like um, a series like on YouTube of recording like my comeback to like health? I should make like a, a vlogging documentary where I can kind of go through my medical records and be like, yo, this is where we're starting and this is where we're going. And I'm just doing it for health. I'm not doing it for anything else. I just want to be healthy again. And I have a couple friends that are like very into working out and I, I kind of want 
to get a membership and go work out with them because I feel like it's it's easier to do it when you have people with you. Okay, back to my grocery order. What else do we fucking need? I have, okay, what do I have already to eat next week? I have lots of mac and cheese. I eat at least mac and cheese like five times a week. I love mac and cheese, but it's like healthy mac and cheese. Healthy. Um, I have, actually, I don't have a whole lot. I got to order more stuff to eat. Okay, part of like being healthy and in shape is actually eating a good diet, not like restricting yourself. I don't believe in restricting, but like eating, it's not Annie's, but you know, Annie's mac and cheese is organic non-GMO, which is, it's better than Kraft. So I don't have Annie's. I have, um, I've been going to Trader Joe's a lot, Whole Foods, um, my parents actually have been buying me grocery orders um there's like an online membership of it's like an organic market I don't know what it's called but my parents have been delivering food to to me which has been really nice um so based on what they give me and I I actually was gonna unbox they sent me this huge box and I was gonna unbox it on stream but I that was during my period of not feeling well so uh, maybe next box they send me, I will open it on stream, but they sent me a huge like haul. That's why I have a lot of, oh, I have stuff. I have um, a Korean barbecue sauce mix. Do I want to make Korean barbecue steak or chicken or mm, probably steak or chicken would be the best. Should I do steak or chicken? My budget for groceries this week is $100 because I my parents did send me a lot of food. So I'm like, oh, I could probably spend about 100 this week to like fill it in. Not tofu, man. I feel like chicken or steak is... The, I feel like steak would be arguably, objectively the best. <clears throat> hmm. The only thing is these grocery stores now, because I'm not ordering like from Target or Walmart anymore, I do have to drive like 30 minutes, which fucking sucks. I'm picking up tomorrow 8 a.m. between the track and field events because I'm basing my schedule around the Olympics. And how lucky am I to have my summers off so every four years I can watch the Olympics and the Paralympics are starting soon and I haven't gotten a phone call if I got the new job by the way yet and I'm kind of shocked I didn't hear from them today they, they said they would call me either way so my thought is um whoever their first picks are I'm assuming they called today so I I'm thinking they aren't giving me an offer so I, usually what happens is when they send you your teaching contract, they give you an offer and then they give you 24 hours to respond. So I'm guessing they called their, because there's two spots open. I'm guessing they called their two first picks today and they're giving them 24 hours. So if those two decline the offer, then they'll probably call me tomorrow if I'm their next choice. I'm assuming unless I'm just dumb and they're calling tomorrow. I mean, you never know. I'm just... I just thought I would have heard from them today because they have to give you 24 hours to respond and it's almost the weekend. So I'm, I'm guessing I'm not getting an offer. Maybe I will if someone declines. But I think that's very unlikely that someone's going to decline. So, But it's okay. I have a job regardless and my current job I do get paid very well. So, okay, do I need any more groceries? I don't want to forget anything or have any regrets. Going to their office and beating an answer out of them, please hold. Um, yeah, I would have thought I would have heard by the, maybe, or maybe they're calling tomorrow and giving you until Monday. That's another possibility. But they told me either way you would, I would hear by Friday. So either way, I will know by tomorrow. Hopefully they don't call me when I'm watching the Olympics. I'm just kidding. 
Did I miss a call today? Maybe I was too in the zone. No, they didn't call me. Okay, do I need to... What else could I make this week for food? Um... I, okay, I'm also weird. I never do produce on my grocery order. I just order like things on the shelves they can just grab. So that saves me time. So I just go pick it up. But then I'll also go into the store when I'm there just to quickly grab produce items. Because I hate grocery shopping. So if I can do an order ahead of time of the bulk of my stuff and then I just, I like to pick up my own produce. So then I'll just go and grab my produce and then I don't trust people to pick out produce for me. And right now there's like, a listeria outbreak in produce so that kind of fucking scares me so i'm trying to not eat produce till that's figured the fuck out i've been eating a lot of frozen produce which i don't like as much obviously i like fresh well i'm gonna check out this grocery order and i can always add to it i think i have like some time to order more i have plenty of snacks the most of the stuff my parents sent was snacks. So I like have so much snacks. I have. Uh, I get the not trusting people handling your produce. Even Panera can't get it right. They sent me an apple with a festering black hole in it. Ew. Okay, may I just say Panera has really regressed. They di recently did like a rebranding and a menu change and it has just gone downhill. I used to be a Panera stan and there's still a couple things at Panera I do love and you know, but I would say Panera has really regressed. I feel like Chipotle has regressed. Panera has regressed. Chick-fil-A has regressed. They've changed like their fries, their chicken nuggets. I'm like, bro... Thinking that we wouldn't notice. Never had Panera? Do they have Panera in Canada? Panera is really good. It's like cafe style. Sandwiches, soups. They get popular and then they get complacent. <laughs> That's the, yeah. They're probably, they're like, yo, we're making all this money. Let's cut down on the quality. You know what I'm saying? Um... Well, I'm going to just put in this order for now. I'm going to deal with the rest later if I want to add to it. I just have to think critically about what I want. It's going to be a lot of eggs and protein as I continue this health and fitness journey that we will be starting. My, and by the way, I'm not looking to lose weight. I have always been a pretty healthy weight my whole life. I weigh, I'm actually the heaviest I've ever been right now. Hold on. Okay, let me, let me check out because you guys, we all know I am going to get distracted here. Okay, change payment method. I want to use this credit card, not that one. That credit card is not bueno right now. Okay, my phone number. Make sure I don't say any of this out loud. 752-881. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Just making shit up. Okay, I have 10 hours to add to my cart. Okay. That's sick. $91. Not bad for what I got and high quality food. So food's just expensive these days regardless. Okay, um so I am the heaviest I've actually been in my life. I've never been typically okay, so let me from like seventh grade till this past year, I was so consistent, had such a consistent weight of one hundred and five pounds from seventh grade to uh, this past year. Um and in my like seventh grade through high school years, a lot of it was like muscle because I was an athlete back then. Now, the muscle has definitely toned down. I don't have nice abs anymore. I mourn the loss of my abs. 
um, I don't got that going for me. I, I mostly, I, I have like a flat stomach now, but I don't have abs like I used to. And now it's definitely higher increase in fat, especially my midsection. I feel heavier and my thighs feel heavier. And that's typically whenever I have like gained some fat, that's usually where I gain it. But also those are the two areas I'm able to shred quickly and muscle up. So, you know. I do a lot of core and a lot of legs. So my goal isn't to lose weight. I just want to convert it back to muscle, if that makes sense. Actually, I might want to shred a little bit of weight, of fat. I want to, you know, I, I forget what my BMI is right now. It's not bad. I used to have like a BMI of like 13, 14, or 15. It was pretty low because I was very active. Now I think it's like 20. I want to shred that down a little bit. Right now, we weigh... Da -da 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 -da. I think we weigh 116. So I was very consistently like 100 to 105. And this past year... What actually the past like five months when I've been having health issues is actually when I gained from 105 to 116. I've gained about like 11 pounds, which doesn't sound like a lot. And I'm not, I'm not saying I'm fat or any of that. I'm happy with myself, but I think for health wise, um, I'm very small, if that makes sense. So I, I think 105 was a healthier weight for me because I'm really, I'm five feet. Okay, guys, I'm five feet tall. I'm very small. So, and a lot of my weight that I've gained has been fat. So, <sighs> yeah, I'm going to start this journey. I'm going to do lots of walking. My sister actually had a big weight loss journey. And walking and diet was the two biggest things for her. So I'm going to do lots of walking, lots of, I'm not restricting my food or my calories, but we're going to make it healthy calories, like good vitamin rich, protein rich food. Like I'm eating, I'm not eating, I'm not going to eat any empty calories. I've been actually eating really good lately. So, and I've actually felt a lot better. So, and then I'm going to start like, so I'm going to do a lot of walking because I have always hated cardio personally, but I'll probably start running little by little. But what I'm going to hit hardest is like the weights and doing lots of core and legs is the plan. I used to have really nice, you know. A nice core and nice legs and I would like that back to be more confident myself so I'm doing it for myself you know I just want to be healthy again I used to be a very healthy person and it's just the past the past year especially it's just I don't know and I think it has to do with yeah there's a lot of factors but anyways guys thanks for coming to my TED talk um we're going to play Life is Strange. I taught, I just yapped for a half hour. What the fuck? Um, if there's anything I can do in life that I could win an Olympic gold medal at, it would be yapping. Um, but yeah, I'm going to... I don't know if I should like record vlogs of me, like my progress. Maybe I should. I mean, why not? I'm just... I need to figure out where I would like to do training, you know, so, because the gym that my friends go to is farther away, so I wouldn't particularly enjoy the commute, and I'm worried if I pick a gym that's too far away, then I'm not going to be motivated to get up and go, whereas if my gym's closer, I don't really have an excuse, so I would like to get back into dance a little bit. I kind of thought about coaching again or just getting back into it a little bit just for fun 
dancing for fun. I thought it'd be fun to learn ballroom at my age. Because it's something I could actually use as an adult. If I have a partner. Um, I just, I really miss dance. I really do. I miss dance a lot. And I was pretty good, so. I still have some of my skills, which is really shocking because it's been... I'm getting so old. It's been eight years since I've competed. <laughs> Holy fuck. I'm so old. I'm almost 26. What the fuck? But I still have some skills, which is so impressive to me. I still... I think I still have most of my splits. I still have some of the flexibility. Do a scorpion? I used to be able to. Guys, I don't mean to toot my own horn. I used to be pretty good. Okay, I used to. I used to be very competitive. I don't think I can do a scorpion anymore. It it would hurt because of scoliosis, and I actually am not even gonna attempt because there's my firebird. You guys can't even see. Well, if you go on my Instagram, you can see some of my old dance posts but ow i just popped my shoulder so that's the great start to my fitness journey i got an injury no i really am old, getting old and my fear is if i keep up with not putting my health first i'm gonna end up old and decrepit and i don't want to be old and decrepit i was a high kick mostly a high kick dancer some jazz training, some hip hop, and I also, I mean, I pretty much did it all. I did everything, but those were my specialties. Pop shoulder showing images of dancing. Well, this is my shoulder that pops out of place because I dislocated it so many times. So my, my junior year of dance, I was learning a new skill and I dislocated the shoulder and collarbone, this one. So now I actually lost range of motion and whenever I move it a certain way, it fucking hurts. So yeah, I used to be able to like bend it so far back. This is probably as far as I can go opposed to this arm. It can go further. It's hard to show you in this chair, but yeah, that, I had a few injuries, but that was probably the worst one. In terms of coming back, because it was just, it was at a crucial time, and it was just so annoying. But, yeah, that was that. Anyways, I don't think I've talked about, maybe I should do just a, a stream where I talk about, like, and we go through some of my old dance awards and stuff. Or, like, just some of my sports stuff. I have a whole memory box of that shit. Maybe I'll do that in my vlogging documentary. <laughs> um, it would be pretty fun to try to make a dance comeback at 26. And not to like win or anything, but do like train and just do one competition. I'm not trying to go to nationals or anything. Just like one competition. Because they have adult divisions now. And I could maybe get the old trio back together i should ask them that would be so fun if i could get the old trio back together i don't know if they would i think they'd be like fuck you audrey <laughs> you go do your solos yourself but like yeah or if i could get a an old group together for like a group dance I don't know it would just be really I think it would bring me a lot of joy because I miss it so much like sometimes I look through that box of stuff and I just cry because it's and it makes me wish I would have gone for it in college but I just I just didn't I could have been so good I have so many regrets with that and I think that's really hard to live through but I actually think I would be more proud of myself at 26 getting myself to a competition. Just one, just one little regional competition, like at the local high school. Like it doesn't have to be a big competition. Just competing once, I think my life will be made. So, yeah. I don't have the time or the energy to like actually make a comeback. But, I mean, 
those adult divisions, I'm like, tw- I'm almost 26. Those adult divisions are still quite younger than 26. Like I'd be competing against probably like 20 year olds. <laughs> Most people fully retire after like 22. Once college is over, they don't compete anymore. So it'd be kind of crazy. It's expensive to compete as well. By the way, you have to you have to pay to compete, okay? It's not you just sign up. You have to pay for your spot to compete. It's expensive. So Anyways, we're going to play. <laughs> I really yapped today, but I'm just in my feels. Watching the Olympics gets me so motivated. And I know I can do. I I know I can get myself in a healthier place. Just for my health. I just want to be healthy. I want to be healthy and confident in myself again. And I think like in terms of my health, I'm just so tired of it. Like I, I'm kind of wanting to just fight back against the health issues right now. Until I get myself out of it. And even if I don't get myself out of it, I want to learn how to manage it and deal with it so I can be healthy. So um, we're going to return to Life is Strange True Colors today. Um, we haven't played in three weeks. Um, I have no idea really what happened last. I just remember that we hacked into this computer and we like found out some shady shit. I don't remember what that shady shit was, but I think it was pretty intense. I don't remember, but I, I'm pretty sure it'll come pretty quickly to my mind once we start playing again. We're going to play episode four today. Um, yeah, we have episode four left and episode five left and then... The LARP episode. Yeah, yeah. The live action role play episode. Which I, which actually, it was kind of cute. It was kind of a waste of an episode. I don't know. I feel like True Colors has been my least favorite series so far. But it's okay. Um, I think it's just a very slow series. And a lot of like nonsense we didn't really need. But I mean, the LARP was cute. But I don't know if it was necessary to the storyline. So... Yeah. Overall, we haven't we only have two episodes left of the like main storyline, and I don't think anything really too crazy has happened, which is just really weird. But yeah, we're playing episode 4 today, and then episode 5 we'll probably play tomorrow. And then we have just the DLC, which is I think it's called like Steph's story or something. And I think the DLC is a just in one hour prequel to True Colors. So just to kind of see what happened before. Um, and then we're all caught up on Life is Strange until Double Exposure comes out in October. So, um, yeah, we're kind of not really playing a lot of games right now. We're finishing True Colors. We still have the ending scene of Hogwarts Legacy. It's been a month and I completely forgot. So we're going to play that probably in the next couple days. It's like we probably only got like a half hour to an hour of it left. Of like the owls exams and all of that. I just, we, we got to watch the ending scene, you know, where we like have our exams. Um, and then after those two games, yeah, we're not really playing anything. So we have to find some games. There's quite a few single player games I want to play. Um, I want to play the Subnauticas. I, I own them already, actually. I bought them a long time ago. I want to play those. I really want to play um, Stray the cat game that we never got around to um obviously we're gonna get back into valorant um mm. i think we're gonna have a sims arc as well with the new expansion pack i've been playing some sims off stream actually and i've been quite enjoying it all right oh detroit become human is on the list yeah there's actually quite a few um Quite a few single player games we're going to play. And then in terms of new games coming out, there's not a lot until like September or October. And the ones I really want to play, um, obviously, is going to be the new Life is Strange. That's going to be a big one for me. And then um, the new Zelda game I'm going to try to play in September. But other than that, like a lot of games I'm really looking forward to don't come out for another year or so. So, Yeah. We're going to just have to, uh, it'll, it's nice because it gives us time to catch up on games I never got around to because I was so busy. Like there's many, many games I want to play. We're probably going to be in uh, um, our single player era. 
lots of single player games I need to play still. All right, can we hear? Because I can't. Why can't I hear? I swear to God, this headset. Guys, I just bought this headset. It hasn't even been like... F it keeps turning off. And I've been getting like warnings on my PC that it can't recognize the device. So maybe my USB port is actually dying. I don't think the headset's broken. Okay, I can hear that. I don't think the headset's broken. I think I think this USB port might be bad. So maybe I should switch it around somewhere. But I don't have I don't have a lot of you so my keyboard and mouse have these ports. My cam all of my monitors plugged in. Like I don't have any more. But yeah, it might be the USB port. I probably have something I could unplug back there though. I think I have like a controller plugged in and I don't play controller a lot, so I could probably unplug that and try a different USB port. But like my headset, I keep having to turn it back on and it's not dead because I have it charging. So it's not like it's dead unless the charger doesn't work. Mm. It's flashing green though. My power button is green. That means it's charged. If it was red, it would be no bueno. I can't believe I just yapped for that long, but you know. All right. We're gonna, we're gonna play. These episodes are like a couple hours long, so. I think we're, yeah, we're on chapter, yeah, we finished chapter three. So we're on chapter four. There's five chapters. And then Steph's story is the, um, the DLC. All right, here we go. I'm excited. We haven't played this in so long. nervous to see what happens here i feel like by episode four there's only two episodes left there's got to be something crazy that happens there's gonna be something eventful i really think chapter four flicker flicker pike it's all on this usb drive all the evidence you need to nail typhon for gabe's death and plenty more Something's gonna happen to the USB. <laughs> Something's gonna fucking happen to that. Thanks. Talk soon. I, I just already know. It's gonna end up like Did in the toilet, thrown Here, into the, the river. Festival. One final reminder to head over to the lathe flower cart and grab a rose before they're gone. At Haven's inaugural spring festival, eligible women of good stock and birthing age would offer up roses in order to attract a mate. What can I say? History is weird. Thankfully, we've lost the mating stuff, but kept the roses. And if you do have a special someone in mind, a rose is a great way to say you care. And an even better way to say, hey look, a rose. Sounds fun. Is giving away a rose something I'd do? Hmm. Maybe. I can decide downstairs. Amazon doesn't have pre-orders for Echoes of Wisdom yet? For now, really? I'll grab the USB stick. That is weird because it's, I mean, really the game's only, what, like a month or so away? A month and a half? Okay, what if... Pick up USB stick. Something is gonna... I don't trust this. Guys, something the fuck is gonna happen with this stupid USB stick. You know how fragile USB sticks can be? I don't trust it. Where is it? Where? Wait, where's the USB stick? Chinese takeout. Video game. Shrine. Window. Chest open. What's in here? It's gonna blow up. Something's gonna happen with the stupid USB. Oh, what's this key for? For now, I'll grab the USB stick. Why is there music playing? Looks like the festival is already oh. in full swing. Guys, I wasn't paying attention I'm to the first like minute, so I actually I actually missed quite a bit. 
How do we... How do we zoom into these things again? With our emotions? Do you guys remember? You know... Pretty, but not very gay. You know the things with the what white dots? We can like... Pretty, but not very Gabe. What is the- I don't remember this? the controls. Right click. Ah. What? What? Traditionally, you give roses to your crush at the spring festival, so... I've never had a girl give me flowers before. I'm sorry. I didn't know you cared so much about traditional gender roles. I'll get back to my butter churning and doily. That's tea. Shut up. What is this key for? Why can't I find the USB? Is it just at my computer? And I just didn't observe? I think I'll stick with Minesweeper hmm. from now on. Wait, where's the USB? Am I stupid? Don't answer that. Guitar. I want to know what this key is for. Where's the fucking USB? Oh, here it is. I, I want to know. Oh, unlock. I wanted to know what this key was for. Won't answer. I won't answer that, but. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. This must have been Gabe's. Make shit right list. Donate to Lawrence Attention Center. New bong for Kevin. Apologize to Zoe. Apologize to Iron. Tell him. That's a long list. Apologize to Oscar. It. So he was trying to make amends. That, that's what was in the locked drawer. Well, damn. All right. USB stick. Something the fuck is gonna okay. happen to this stupid Time ass. To head downstairs. Guys, I don't trust that this USB stick stays safe. I think it's gonna be just fucked. It's gonna be fucked. Can I change my outfit? I don't like it. Yeah. We gotta be looking nice for that festival. Look at that hot dog. Guys, I think we have to wear the hot dog. <laughs> we have to. It's not even a question. All right. I actually could go for a hot dog right now. But I'm on a health journey, bitch. I actually really want a snack right now. I'm hungry. But this is pretty. I totally missed it. What is this festival for? Test, test. Check. 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 Testing Holy one, two, three. Holy shit. You own a skirt? Oh, bro. Hey, guys. Happy first spring fest. Thanks. I got a hold of Pike. He'll be here soon. Once he sees what's on that stick, it's over for Typhon. It's Hence over. The celebration. <laughs> I think we've all earned the right to enjoy ourselves a little tonight. The band's coming on soon. You'd better be front and center. I hope... I hope they made a backup. Of the stuff on the USB stick. I would have backed that shit up on, like, three different computers. But I'm guessing because this is how the game goes. They didn't back that shit up. And it's just on this fucking fragile little fucking USB stick. Oh, rad. Do you need help setting up for the show? Nah, it's all good. We're almost there. I have to run back to the trailer. Go be a normal person for a while. Can't make any promises. <laughs> Text me when it's ready. If I wanted to give away a rose. 
Steph and Ryan would definitely be on my list. Damn, girl. She's got anyway, two options. Time to enjoy the festival. So I get to pick who I give the rose to. Who? Someone special. Bro. I think we can give it to Ryan. Steph, Steph, I like Steph, but she kind of pisses me off. And if she wasn't so annoying in some ways, I would give it to her. 232, 233, 234. <sighs> this game is so demoralizing. No. The red one Why was 234. Why do I do this to myself? Wait. Hmm. Maybe I can help Damn him it. somehow. Mm. Hi. Oh, hey. Nice to see you. How could we help You're taking him? this jelly bean thing very seriously? Yeah, because the prize is a one hundred dollars. Hundred dollars. Go be My a normal mom person. Just got a promotion, <laughs> so I thought I could take her out for a nice dinner. Yeah, I'm so normal with my Which hot dog is really shirt. Embarrassing, saying it out loud. Not at all. That's sweet. Maybe I can help. So we have to guess oh, how many. For real? Are you good at this? How many jelly beans do you think there are? Um, guys. That's a whole motherfucking mason jar. There has to be 800. It's always more than you think it is. I'd say like 800 or so. Huh. Yeah, could be. Feels like something just changed in that lady by the jar. Maybe I should read her. We're gonna cheat. 800's actually not bad. Hopefully they don't go lower. Mm -hmm. Oh, I was close? Maybe I should say something. Yeah, yeah, let's say something. Hey. We're cheating. I've got another guess. Yeah? I think it's closer to 700. Yeah. 700 feels right. <laughs> but we have to get it exactly. Just felt that lady's heart skip a beat. We're cheating. I should read her again. Yeah. Dear me, they're really close to 731. Who is this girl? Hell yes! I'm the Your fucking mind reader, mine. bitch. The answer is 731. Don't ask <laughs> me how. 731 jelly beans. That's... That's correct. Yes! <laughs> Let's go. He's getting Thanks himself so a gift card. Help. He's getting Damn. that Amazon gift card. No sweat. All right, um, diorama. Okay, what, so what's my goal again? Give Steph or Ryan a rose, explore the festival. Oh, this is gonna be so cute. Ah! Hey, Ryan. <gasps> I'm gonna cry. I have something for you. All while wearing a hot dog shirt. This is epic. Alex. I wasn't mentally prepared Am for I that. Am I about to get rejected? <laughs> wow. Thank you. You're welcome. What? He won't fucking kiss me? What the fuck? Actually, I've got something for you too. Think we could meet up after the show? Of course. Yeah, in your bed. I'll cool. be there. Enjoy the festival while... I'll let you know when I'm done here. <laughs> Bro, he totally is into us. Let's go. Cool. See you in a few. We about to woohoo tonight. Okay, play it cool. It's just a rose. He likes us. Play it cool. He oh, likes I'm us. Ready for whatever I've started. Bro, he likes the girl with the hot dog shirt. I told you this was the shirt. All right. Um, all right, let's go see how Jed's feeling. It happened last year. Yep. It's been a hell of a month. Clear as day. But this makes it all worthwhile. Jed loves this town so much. It's inspiring. Gosh, guys, I have so much riz. I, I have then. so much Where's fucking after riz. This year? After God. I just hope Come Riley on. is doing all right. Like they me. call me the Rizzler. 
Guys, I'm too cocky now. We're getting it My tonight. Bad. All right. Hi, Eleanor. Good evening, dear. Why does my mom... Oh god. My uh, grandma and grandma, well, my step grandparents have a dog and he's bleeding internally and his surgery is 20,000 fucking dollars. Vet bills are no joke. Hey, so where's Riley? I haven't seen her around. She's not really in the festive spirit. She was supposed to leave town tonight. If it wasn't for... You know. Oh. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. You were so helpful to me that day at the shop. If you see Riley, maybe you could help her too? Sure. I'll try my best. We drinking later, bro? Calm down. The decorations really turned out beautifully. It must have been a huge amount of work. It's worth it. We're not drinking later. Not I with grandma. We're not having grandma drink. All right. Sounds like Ryan is... Diane, wait... Talk to Ryan. What? Who's the two-faced bitch? Wanted to wish you a wonderful stream, but I have to work through it. But I really appreciate it coming. Blah, blah, blah. Bro, shut up. Nobody cares you about too. you. Hey, Steph. <laughs> Bro, you didn't get my rose. Better luck next time. I. Uh, I feel like Alex would be, I think it's very clear she's bi, but like I feel like she'd be more bi like leaning towards girls, but I don't like the girl option. I know there's a lot of Steph lovers out there. She's not my fave. I would have rather went for Riley. Riley's so cute. So I had to go for fucking Ryan. Hey. Oh, hey. Just in time. So, who's playing? Yours truly. Seriously? Are they gonna make That's me awesome. play? Well, wait. Who else? Oh my god, they're gonna make me. Steph. <gasps> they didn't tell me. Who else is playing? I <laughs> hate you both. <laughs> We Not the hot dog out. shirt. Bro, I ha I'm in a fucking hot dog shirt. Who said anything about wissing out? Girl, you got Nobody, this. But only because we didn't give you the opportunity. Hi, Manny. This is going to be awesome. Trust me. <sighs> um... Hot dog, hot dog, We're hot dog. Before, dog. And, uh, <laughs> That's what she should sing. <laughs> anyway. Sorry if this sucks. That's so me. Sorry if this sucks. <sighs> Fuck it. I'm guessing this is copyrighted, guys, so it's going to be silent and awkward. <laughs> Enjoy this, um, muted presentation. <laughs> I know, this is, this is kind of annoying that they, usually in games that have copyrighted music, well, first off, games should never do that. That's just stupid. But if they do, they need to have it replaced with other music if they have it muted. 
This is stupid. Because then, honestly, it kind of ruins the immersion of the game. But also, I don't really want to be copyrighted. So, yeah. I'm just going to guess she's killing it, guys. I'm going to just assume she sounds great. Even Simon Cowell would be impressed. Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity nog. I, I don't know the I don't know the whole Mickey Mouse Clubhouse song. Yeah. Oh yeah, she had a big melt, a big hissy fit. Remember, we were like at her like art studio, and she had a big hissy fit, and it was really kind of creepy. But on the other hand, she's grieving and she's very depressed, so that part is really sad. But like, she kind of wasn't very nice to us. I was horrible to you earlier. You really weren't. Really? Then I fucked up, because I was trying pretty hard to be horrible to you. <laughs> I was so excited about you coming to Haven. Oh, at least she's being nice now. In my mind, the way I felt Oh yeah, she was like really like blaming her son, which was kind of like, oh my god. We were gonna be best friends. <laughs> like she was kind of like saying like, oh, I don't even want to see him anymore. I wish... There's still time. There's still time. Maybe. I guess we'll see. I hope she actually doesn't blame her son for all this. Even though it kind of is his fucking fault. But he's just a kid. We can't, you know. Kids are kids. And it sucks because kids make a lot of mistakes. This kid, he made a pretty big mistake. But, you know. Wait, what's happening? Oh, it's one of those situations where I can leave. Hey. You okay? No. You know how Goofy does like his little hot dog dance? We should have done that on stage. I'm gonna go home. Okay, bye! Oh, deuces. Oh my god, I feel... Feel like something is bad's gonna happen with her. How you guys feel? I feel like we're gonna have to decide between going and I feel like we're gonna have to decide between going to Ryan's house and knocking boots with him or going and saving this chick's life. I feel like she's gonna harm herself. She just seems very suspicious right now. I'm choosing knocking his boots. Let's go. No, I'm kidding. I, I feel like I feel like if it comes down to like going and like helping her and being worried about her, we have to. Can you meet me on the rooftop? I want to show you something. Okay. Well, as of right Sounds now, like Ryan wants to meet me on the rooftop. Okay. I got to admit. 
This is a pretty great feeling. What? That's on my hot dog shirt? What? Let the hot dog have its moment. What the hell? Okay, I gotta go meet Ryan on the rooftop. But, like... There is no option to go see her to make sure she's okay, so I'm gonna assume that there's nothing I can do. Alright, uh, the rooftop? Wait, so when are- What are we doing about this USB stuff? Aren't we, like, telling the whole world? Oh my god. We're knocking boots under the stars on the rooftop? That's kind of romantic. I'm not opposed to this. I I think we're just gonna end up like kissing guys. It's I don't think it's gonna be more than that. I think it's just gonna be a kiss. Find you a man that will love you even when you're wearing a hot dog shirt. Mm-hmm. I kind of want to order a hot dog shirt and wear it on like a first date and see what happens. It, it, it's a tree. Oh, it's a tree. That's so romantic. Me, I've never been given a tree before. What kind of tree? Tree of love. My mom used to give insomnia when I was a kid. She'd drive over here to the lantern in the morning to work in the garden sometimes she'd take me with her it's always been a special place for me i hope it can be for you too i should have been taking better care of it come on you've had other stuff to worry about like Totally killing that set. <laughs> You're such a rock star. Thanks. For everything. I had fun. Yeah, so did the audience. You know they're gonna make you do it again next year, right? You... you good? Yeah. Fine. Guess I've just been too wrapped up to think about what the future looks like. <laughs> Ryan is your future. Okay. So let's think about it. Alex's future in Haven Springs. The major motion picture. The ride. On ice. <laughs> <laughs> Close your eyes. It's morning. Chilly. You can see your breath. You're walking down Main Street on the way to work. Where? Definitely the record shop. Oh, I'm sure Steph will appreciate that. Before you ruthlessly push her out and I feel like job, she would work is. at the the record store. So after work. Sun's still up for another couple hours. It's warm now. You're carrying your jacket under your arm. What's the plan? Play guitar. Sit right here on the roof and play my guitar. Smart. Stay in practice. Only a few more months till the next spring fest. Anyway, someone's at the door. <gasps> someone's at the door. Who? <gasps> Only the coolest person in Haven Springs. <gasps> He's gonna oh, kiss me! In an extremely cool way. <laughs> His plaid jacket swaying in the breeze. <sighs> Dork. <laughs> yeah. Damn, the way he just looked at me. Damn. I'm not trying to get you to plan out your whole life, but he just gave me quite the grin if I do say so myself. Roots, Haven Springs will always make space for you. Was that a gardening pun? 
No. Maybe. <laughs> I... I really care about you, Alex. A lot. What the You're fuck? the most amazing person I've ever met. Where is this going? He's scared. Come no. on, dummy, kiss her. Just kiss her. Kiss her. Kiss her. I really want to kiss you right now. <laughs> I know. Ah! Oh my god! <laughs> we did it! All while wearing a hot dog shirt. I'm the Rizzler. Oh my fucking god, and the flowers bloomed. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Let's go. Damn, I'm not, I'm feeling some type of way now. Wanna rejoin the festivities? I'll get you a funnel cake. Maybe you could save me one. Yeah. Mm, okay, girl. We see you risen him oh, up. Okay. Damn. Oh, he'd be looking at us. Oh. <gasps> Why do I feel like something bad is going to happen to him? I'm nervous for him. I feel like this game just pulls out our heartstrings and rips it away. What is she doing? Okay, I thought she was throwing it in the water. I was gonna hey, freak the babe. fuck out. Can I tell you something? I think I solved it. Why you died? Who's responsible? Isn't that crazy? I'm out of threads to pull. Which is terrifying. Because on the other side of all this, after Typhon, after you, there's just normal life. I was kind of counting on you to show me how to do that. But I think I can figure it out. I just wish you were here to see it. Oh, um, also, I kissed Ryan, so... Bro, he already knows. He's looking from up above, grinning. Well, I can leave now. Let's get out of here. Let's go. Let's go take Typhon down. Oh my god, that was so cute. I almost cried. I'm still on, when a guy says like before he kisses you when he's like I really want to kiss you. Oh my god. But in Ouch. my case they've they've always turned out to be assholes after that. So it was only cute in the moment and then they ended up being assholes so it didn't really fucking matter anyways. Do you have the USB drive? I do. It's all here. Gabe's call, their secret plan, the cover-up. You need to come with me to the station. <gasps> Monka! Alex? Don't make this hard. Wait, why? What? Why? Why are we going to the station? Are they gonna be like, yo, um, theft? You stole prop someone's property, but like, um, the fuck? I found incriminating evidence. 
What the fuck? I think Pike likes us. Probably isn't how you pictured your first spring festival. What the fuck huh? happened? Not exactly. Coffee? Um, no. I'm all right. Fuck you. Thanks, so. though. Good. Because we're, uh... Whenever they out. arrest you... Um... Whenever they arrest you, they always try to butter you up with a beverage. So, no, we're not going to take that. Hold on, I got a... I got a message. I got a message back. Hold, hold, hold. Hold. I just feel so bad because like if a surgery is $20,000 to save your dog, like... You know what I'm saying? Okay. That's all expensive. I've seen too much true crime. I'm too smart for this shit. <laughs> no, I know. Same. Whenever you see an interrogation, they're always like, would you like some water? Because they're trying to butter them up to confess. 20k is way too much I know my mom said so here's what my mom said so my mom is remarried for like the hundredth time I think we've talked about this before and <laughs> so my step grandparents so my mom's husband's parents have th three dogs um and this is their youngest dog actually their youngest golden retriever his name is Tucker um my mom said they feed their dogs like chocolate and ice cream and onions and all the things they're not supposed to feed dogs. I just don't understand it. I would never have a dog and not take care of my dog because I didn't want to feed my dog stuff. But anyway, they're big dogs. One of the golden retrievers, two of them, but one of them is very old. His name is Tucker. Oh, it's the old one. I thought Tucker was the young one. Tucker's the old one, apparently. Very sweet, very sweet dog. He's probably like 13. He's had times he's been slowing down, which for golden retrievers, like 13 is really old for a golden retriever. They've tried all natural remedies. They do go to the vet when needed, but they, uh, they, they don't do the vaccines with their dogs anymore. They don't believe in it, blah, blah, blah. They don't, they don't deworm or do any flea and tick, which is really dangerous in Minnesota because we have a lot of fleas and ticks. Um, but Tucker had, over the last couple of years, uh, he's just kind of feeling a change up of supplements or they're giving him and it kind of perks him up a bit. But they're, um, uh, they're the type to, like, not put their dog asleep, especially, like, their dog's suffering. Like, for me, I wouldn't want Manny to suffer. Like, I'm not going to just rush and put Manny to sleep if something comes up. I'm going to see what my options are. But, like, if Manny's really suffering, I don't want him to suffer. I would put him to sleep, even though it would be really hard. Um, Let me get to the good. Uh, my mom said he's not a spring chicken, that's for sure. But they decided to come back home from the cabin early because they said Tucker just wasn't feeling well. And they took him to the vet today. My mom said, I don't know if they're being dramatic or if it's really true, but they texted her that he's bleeding internally and that if they want to fix him, it would be upward of $20,000, which I do believe because vet bills are so expensive. I take Manny to the vet for just the smallest thing. And then it's like a $1,000 bill. I'm like, what the fuck? Um, they're basically just praying for a miracle, and I'm thinking about if you don't want to pay the 20000 or measures to save his life, he's bleeding internally, which can't be very comfortable. Why would you bring your dog home? Without intervention, slow and uncomfortable death, why would you not give your dog mercy and put it to sleep? Instead, you have two other dogs, you're being selfish and having this poor guy come home to bleed internally because you don't want to pay for surgery, but you're too selfish to put your dog to sleep, which I kind of agree with. This is so sad, though. Dogs deserve better. Dogs are just the best. My mom said if Manny was bleeding, 
internally and very obviously we'd want to put him to sleep if we weren't going to intervene yeah my mom said maybe i'm wrong but my thought process is not yeah i think my mom's right we'll just say you right you right there we go sorry i needed help answering that text okay let's stop yapping no but for real i feel like it's fit i'm i would never judge somebody i know like people just love their dogs but like for me personally i could not let my dog suffer it would be even it would be even more heartbreaking for me I right, that would be so sad man Out. but i just get a sugar daddy and have him pay the bet bills so we'd be fine hike why am i here The long and short of it is, Diane is charging you with stealing her USB drive. Oh, <gasps> damn! <coughs> what I'm playing dumb. Oh, uh, what? It wasn't me. <laughs> Wait, what? Where did he get that? Did I give it to him? Did you steal this USB drive or not? Uh -uh. At least tell me you looked at it. I can't. Sorry. What? You're conducting an investigation into Typhon, right? This Everything is been bullshit. Is on that drive. This is bullshit. Despite my best efforts, the case is closed. What? The order came down today. I did what I could, but, you know, the evidence just wasn't It's clear. on the fucking USB, you bitch. Sorry, Alex. I hope she backed it up on her, on her laptop. Because, what the fuck? I have the evidence. Right here. It doesn't matter. This is ridiculous. What an injustice. Look, this this is what happens in America. Injustice. Over and over. What happened to my brother wasn't an accident. This is how American criminal. fucking the files on that justice works. It. There is no justice. That could be true. But let's say it is. The issue is you stole Typhon's property. I can't work with that. Ah... Uh... Okay, I get the point. I'm sorry I stole the drive, but... Apologizing isn't enough. Damn, we're going to jail. Alex, you're not thinking about this clearly. Seems pretty clear to me. Diane wants to charge you with computer fraud. Computer fraud? That's a federal crime. Is that actually a crime? Computer fraud. Damn, it is. <laughs> it is. I thought the game was just make it property theft by computer occurring as part of a scheme to defraud. Damn, she really did do that. So, I mean, Alex, <laughs> she did. Five to ten, easy. That is actually a thing, apparently. You're telling me I might go to prison for this? For five to ten years? First, they kill her brother. Second, they send her to jail. Talk about ruining someone's whole life. It's not that bad. It's, <laughs> it's not that bad. Talk to her. And despite how angry she is at everything you did, she's willing to let it go. Oh, damn. Okay. If you agree to drop everything... Typhon won't press any charges. No, I believe in fucking justice, bitch. She's only offering that deal because she knows I have her. She's guilty, Pike. Even if nah. you're right, your only evidence nope, is... No, we believe in justice. Even if it means going to it. prison for it. We believe in motherfucking justice. If I was in this position, I'm too fucking stubborn. No, man. 
I'll take my years in prison. I'm not going down without a fight because guess what? Kim Kardashian would come save me. That woman's she's a, she's a, she's freeing people. OK, I believe in Kim Kardashian. <laughs> she'll see my story and see the injustice and she'll save me that <laughs> I'm not signing anything. Yeah, Alex. No, Typhon buried something in the mountains. Something so massive, they ignored Gabe's call and set off the blast just to cover it up. Don't you want to know what it is? What do you mean, cover it up? Another blast, unannounced, set off at the exact same time at the old mining site. And all of it happened just <gasps> a few weeks side. before inspections were set to begin. Come on, Pike. It's all right here. Like, I would be willing to take the fall of, like, the theft and the computer fraud if it means we get justice. Like I said, it doesn't matter. Alex, please, just sign the form, and we can both go back to the party. No. Alex, this is not an offer that you can choose. I said no. No, <gasps> it's not an option. He's scared. He's scared that he's going to get in trouble, which is understandable, but, like, dude, this is about justice. What are you so scared of? See for yourself. Hmm. Shit. What could be in that envelope? Read the envelope. Typhon mining security. Threat evaluation. I don't want to read all this. Okay, this is me, brother... Intel shows subject has a high level of determination. Did I get uh, blah, blah, blah. So Typhon's suspicious of me. Private investigation. <gasps> Began following her. <gasps> They've been following me. <gasps> and Ryan. <gasps> and Steph. They've been having a private investigation yeah i'm not i'm not reading that shit what did you expect huh the typhon a global organization with billions in revenue an army of lawyers and who knows how many politicians in their pockets would just what, throw up their hands and say you got us i thought i could get justice for gabe yeah well, Typhon has their own idea of justice. So th this officer's on our side. He's just got his hands tied. Shit. He's like, it's a mess. Believe me, I want nothing more than to make these fuckers pay. I've learned the hard way that it's not possible. They're too big. Too connected, too ruthless. You can hate me if you want. Call me a coward. But I don't want to lose you like we lost Gabe. Yeah, so I he's a, he's not Titan. trying to be a dick. He's I on our side. I took his fear away. He's, yeah, he's scared. But it's not just about mm. me. Steph and Ryan are in danger too. Yeah, this kind of, this kind of monka sucks. Fuck. I'm going to be honest. I want to hurt Typhon so bad. But can I really put their lives at risk along with mine? Yes, sir. And we're gonna. That's justice, baby. I'm not signing that shit. I, I'm not signing that shit. I'm too stubborn. Do you want to risk your life over this? Gabe, Mac, Alex? Who's next? Fuck. 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 Just keep your head down, Tony. You're just a shit heel. Typhon's major league. Typhon doesn't lose. Typhon disappears, people. Let them get killed. Not you. Damn. Okay. I know you're afraid. I am too. I know you think that Typhon is too big, too invincible. You know what's bigger than Typhon? Kim Kardashian. Let's get her on our side. She's a lawyer now. I will bring them down. 
I just need your help. We gotta hit hit him for with the for Gabe. Gabe. Yeah, hit him with it. Please. Fuck. Fuck. I'll think about it. Thank you. Get the hell out of here. Really? <clears throat> Alex, be careful. We ain't going down without a uh, without a fight. We ain't going down without a fight, guys. I wanted an interesting. So this this is True Colors. It has been pretty slow. I wasn't gonna choose the safe route. We're going risky because I want some action. We need the action. <gasps> Come see me when you get the chance. Okay. He's my future father-in-law. Those pictures. How long have they been watching us? And what will they do if... <sighs> Are they still watching us? <sighs> Dude, I need Ryan. I need to talk to my boy. Where's our boy? I, I They're probably still watching us, right? Girl, calm down. I have no idea what to do next. Maybe talking to Jed will help me feel better. Hmm. Yeah, probably. Well, First, I need to get out of this dress. I'll treasure it too, Ryan. Do you think they're Enjoy tracking? That ice cream. Are they tracking our text messages? Okay. Change clothes. What? We don't want to wear the hot dog. So you're telling me they didn't back that shit up on their laptops, though? Like, that's very simple to do. It's not like it's difficult. You just drag the files. Why the fuck Time did they do that? change of clothes. Oh, oh. Might as well go talk to Jed now. Dude, this is ugly. The hot dog shirt was way better. All right, let's go talk to Jed. I want, yeah, I wonder like if they can track our text messages, if they're like tracking, maybe they have a camera inside my apartment for all I know. Hey, Jed. There she is. Have a seat. I feel like he's gonna be mad at us for some reason. Something tells me you've had a more exciting spring festival than you planned for. He's sus of us. You saw Pike arrest me. And let you go, apparently. Then do we, do we confide in him? I feel like today. we can trust him. I wasn't sure why it took all three of you to work out Diane's lunch order. Mmm, he's sus of us, damn. I'm gonna lose my job. I know you're used to looking out for yourself. Gabe was like that. But Haven's a community. We help each other. I want to help you. But first, you have to let me know what's going on. I feel like we can trust Fuck him. It. What have I got to lose? I feel like he's gonna be on our side. Typhon killed Gabe. I have proof. What proof? I stole it from Diane. 
emails and documents proving there was a second explosion the night Gabe died. To cover something up, Jed. Some secret they buried. I don't know what it is. I don't even know what to do next. But I'm not giving up. Not ever. I know what they're hiding. <gasps> Wait. You're telling me you knew that Typhon's crooked? This whole time? Typhon's the devil that runs this town. I've been carrying their secrets for far too long. He's, he, he wants to be free of the secrets. He I wants know justice. What they buried in the mountains. <gasps> Tell me. I'll do one better. I'll show you. <gasps> oh my god. This is not going to end well. <laughs> Doesn't Typhon, like, can't they see everything we're fucking doing, man? <gasps> Oh my god, he's showing us. What the fuck? I'm sc I'm actually- what could it be? There, up ahead. What could it motherfucking be? Where are we? Like, dead bodies? Like, what nowhere. else could it be? About two clicks that way is the mining site where you search for Ethan. Five clicks that way is town. What is this thing? Ventilation shaft. They're scattered everywhere. Over the years, mines grow into mines, creating a labyrinth under Haven. What you're searching for is down below. Uh, just gonna jump in? D girl, don't get too close to that edge. <gasps> what is he doing? Is he gonna push us? I saw him reaching. He put his hand in his pocket. <gasps> Does he have a gun? Oh my god. Jed. Why are you sad? He's gonna kill us. I knew it. I knew it. I saw him reach into his pocket. Oh my god. What the fuck is this? He's a, he's a part of Typhon, isn't he? He's in cahoots. Ryan doesn't even know his fucking dad's in cahoots. I'm sorry, kid. What? Jed. What are you doing? There's no way, guys. There's still one episode left. There's no way he shoots us. I think he he's shooting himself. I tried to talk you out of it. Scare you off. I was sure those pictures of Ryan and Steph would do the trick. <gasps> he did the he did the private investigation. You were relentless. Won't leave damn well enough alone. You don't have to do this. I do. Twelve years ago. So he oh my god. So he doesn't hate us, but he feels like he has to get rid of us because we're kind of like He's trying to save his son. So he hired private investigations because he's worried about his son's involvement, maybe. And now he thinks we're a threat to his son, maybe. I made a mistake. But I don't think he actually wants to kill us, but he feels like the he has to. The thing that you, you can't undo. What? He made a mistake? But Typhon made me a deal. A way to save my town. Give my boy a normal life. I never wanted Gabe to get hurt. Go to hell. <gasps> what the fuck? That's the end of the chapter? Is she in the wa- is that water? Is she falling from the heavens? 
Okay, what the fuck just happened? I'm in shock. What the fuck? What the hell? Pike let Alex go after she removed his fear. Hmm. Alex gave her rose to Ryan. Oh, more people gave it to Steph. Alex didn't sit at the bonfire. Well, too bad. Alex didn't sit on the couch. Okay. Steph didn't meet Alex on the rooftop. Steph didn't meet Alex on the rooftop. Okay. Ryan and Alex mused about her working on the record store. Oh. Ryan and Alex shared a kiss. Alex and Charlotte shared a bittersweet moment in the festival. Alex didn't find Riley at the bus stop. Oh, I didn't know we could have found Riley to say goodbye. Alex didn't use her power with Ducky. Oh, damn. I didn't even see Ducky. Alex helped the jelly bean boy. Alex didn't talk to the diner buyer. Huh? Alex didn't help them admit their feelings. I didn't see these people. Guys, I, so I, I Jed feels like we're a threat to his son's well-being. He hired a private investigator. So he shot us. We're not dead. I, I can almost guarantee we're not dead. There's still an episode left. I just don't think it ends like that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, wait, I didn't mean to click next. I didn't mean to click next episode. Chapter 5, side B. Bro, I gotta get out of this. I gotta get out of this. I didn't mean to play this episode today. Okay. God damn. That was intense, though, that ending. What are our predictions? What are the predictions? Well, I, I kind of predict that... Obviously, I predict she's not fucking dead. Um... She's not dead. I think she will... She's she's going to be down there stuck, but she's going to find out maybe some answers and somehow get herself out of it. I have a prediction that Ryan's not going to believe her or something when she tells him her dad tried to kill her, basically. I feel like there's going to be some tension between her and Ryan. And yeah, that those are my biggest predictions, but I have no idea what's going to happen in the end here. So, oh my god. Well, we have one episode left, guys, of True Colors. I think we'll probably play episode 5 tomorrow and finish. And then we have DLC, which is Steph's story. I think it's like a prequel of her story. So, that was a crazy ending today. That was wild. That was a short episode. That was like an hour long. That wasn't even that long. I thought it would be longer, but... I just don't really have the means or the energy to play more games. I'm kind of still working my way up to being uh, streaming again. So um, I'm going to get off and go relax the rest of the day. I'm totally not going to watch the Olympics. Um, that would be stupid. Who watches the Olympics? Not me. That shit's stupid. Um, tomorrow, so tomorrow is track and field Olympics. It starts at 3 a.m. So I'm going to be up really early. And then there's like a break from like 8 to 10 between track and field events so that's when I'm gonna go get my groceries do some cleaning and stuff and then I think track and field ends at like two three o'clock and that's probably when I'm gonna get on to um play episode five of Life is Strange True Colors and then sometime over the weekend Saturday or Sunday we're going to play that last scene of Hogwarts Legacy and then we'll play the DLC for True Colors and then I'd like to play some Valo this weekend probably. So that's kind of what our weekend's looking like and then next week we'll be starting new games probably. So um, I have not a lot going on next week besides the Olympics and a few doctor's appointments. So yeah all right well i'll see you guys tomorrow most likely if for some reason i'm not on tomorrow well i'll be on the next day but tentatively i plan on streaming tomorrow so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the episode today i do wanna yeah i'm really excited to play valo i haven't played in so long all right i'll see you guys tomorrow most likely all right bye have a good day